should mount surveillance operations against black African representatives and collect sensitive information on those, especially at the United Nations, who oppose U.S. policy towards South Africa. The information should include facts on their links with their leaders of the black movement in the United States, thus making possible at least partial neutralization of the adverse effects of their activity. Let me go down and read the bottom point here. The range of policy options. The concern for the future security of who? Not Africa. For the future security of the United States makes necessary the range of policy options. And it says, it's not, it's just because they're in this order don't mean that one is more important than the other. Let me skip down to the one I really want you to see. Here it is. Notice their recommendation. To support the not, this is, this is, this is what this devil wrote. The same devil who had selected Barack Obama. Here's what he wrote. To support the nomination at federal and local levels of loyal black public figures to elective offices. God bless America. Take that back. God damn America. You see, you see, family? See, now maybe y'all will begin to understand why I say the things I say. In 1978, this man wrote in this national security memorandum that one of the things that's going to be necessary for us to implement our agenda is to get the nomination at federal and local levels of loyal black public figures to elective offices, to government agencies, and the court. This would promote the achievement of a twofold purpose. What twofold purpose might that be? One, first, it would be easier to control the activity of loyal black representatives within existing institutions. And two, second, the idea of an independent black political party now under discussion within black leadership circles would soon lose all support. Again, that's National Security Council Memorandum 46, written by the big new Brzezinski. Barack Obama's, Obama's chief advisor. Y'all all right? Yes. Yeah. Now, the Brzezinski protege, that's, that'd be a good book. The Brzezinski protege. His name happens to be Barack Obama. Is the commander in chief of AFRICOM. This is right here. In case it got past you, AFRICOM is the acronym of the United States military takeover of the entire continent of Africa, except Egypt. But then again, you gotta remember, the United States Census Bureau decided a few decades ago, they decided a few decades ago that Egypt ain't in Africa. Right. Right. The United States made that decision. Egypt is now in the Middle East. It's not considered an African country anymore. How is it that something of this magnitude was not mentioned in any of Obama's speeches, not a word, not one word, not one thing was said about Africa. Maybe it's because he knew that if he said one word about Africa, that black people would have said, wait a minute here, hold up. What you trying to do, man? You trying to get us to vote you in so that you can be the one who pushes the trigger for the elimination of 75% 
of the world's non-white population by 2050? And don't, don't take, didn't I just tell y'all about National Security Council 200? Yeah. That's what that said. Yeah. That by 2050, right. over 4 billion people must die. Mm. Yeah. It's called sustainable development. Please, don't take my word for what I'm saying. Check it out for yourself. Go to Google and just type in sustainable development or zero population growth. Any of that. And you'll see the program comes up. Man, this, this stuff has been in the works for years. Now they got a young man who had no idea what on when they planned this in the first place. Here's a young man who they picked him and thrust him into the world of politics and swept him off his feet and gave him all this doggone attention. And before he could even get a chance to think well, before he could realize what was happening, he, he's in the spotlight and whoo, whoa, mm, it's all right. You know, man, you ought to run for president. You think so? Yeah, we want you to run for president. And that became his complete, total distraction. You see, I have to be honest with y'all, because I know some people think I'm against the girl, girl. I'm not against that man at all. I really believe that he has a good heart. Right. I really do. What I also know is that he's owned by some sinister forces. Yes. Yes. And he will carry out their agenda or they will kill him. Yeah.